chipmunks. I don't know if that was Alvin or Simon or Theodore, but I got one of them already. Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. I got a chipmunk problem. Fortunately, I don't think the chipmunks have got into the tractor. As you can tell, I'm, I'm not at my usual place. This is my mom's house. And uh, right now in the back of the garage, there's a Kubota 3940. I purchased this tractor from my mother after my dad passed away, uh, almost four years ago now. Um, this tractor was his baby. He loved this thing, and my uh, my daughters know my dad as Papa Tractor. So. Uh, it was hard to sell this thing, so we decided we're going to keep it in the family. I'm going to be able to put it to good use someday. And uh, and that's the plan. I don't know if we're ever going to get you know more than a city lot. Uh, hopefully we can have 5-10 acres of some kind of play land and, and maybe put this tractor to good use someday. So I didn't want to sell it because it's, it's my dad's, right? got to hold on to it. It's got more sentimental value to me than it really does uh, immediate value. But, uh, uh, you know, it's a 2013 3940. It doesn't have any of the emission controls. doesn't have the DPF. So, um, you know, I, it's not that I'm afraid of that. It's just that I don't want to mess with it if I don't have to. Look at this. It's got a BH92 backhoe on it. Okay, so this thing is pretty tough pretty strong there's nothing wrong with this tractor as far as i know now there's been chipmunks in and out of this garage all spring long and all winter and uh, a couple years ago they were up in the headliner of the tractor and i had to clean it all out uh, and i had it running then um, i just took the headliner down and got all the uh, the chipmunk leavings from there, all the shells from seeds and everything, acorns and whatnot. It was it was quite a mess. Now I've been looking over this tractor really well. It hasn't been started in about two years, uh, maybe a year and a half. I can't remember the last time I was using it. But I don't want to start it yet because I'm a little bit nervous of you know starting it and doing some damage because I know rodents have been in and out of the garage so what I want you to do you guys is is leave me some comments and tell me what I should be checking out before I start this tractor I'm just charging the battery now I've been looking it over really well I can't find any wires uh, that have been chewed on um, I know that when I when I open the door the interior light comes on so that's good um, everything electrical works as far as the headlights I just I just haven't turned it over yet so I'm hoping that the chipmunks have been staying out of this I've been I mean you open that door it smells terrible like mothballs because mothballs work pretty good at keeping rodents out so uh, I've been keeping mothballs in the engine compartment in the cab anywhere along the tractor that I could put some mothballs just to keep them out of there I'm hoping the chipmunks are in this mess here somewhere. Uh, there's a lot of different places where they can hide, so I need to get in there and clean that out and, and uh, make it a little bit you know, less chipmunk friendly and more people friendly. Uh, one thing you're going to notice <laughs> on this tractor, it has an aftermarket horn. It's one of those Auga horns. My dad was a character. He thought that he needed an auga horn on his tractors. <laughs> that's the one. That's the one big modification that he made, along with, along with back here, he's got some uh, reverse lights. And if you look inside of here, you can see some other crazy lights and um, just warning lights. You know, I think these were from off of my Jeep or something from way back in the day, but. Anyway, he put them to good use instead of buying some LEDs, you know, he's... My dad grew up in the, the 60s and 70s and and you just put together stuff that you have 
as you can see the garage is, has accumulated a lot of different stuff oh look who's back let's see where he goes oh good he went back there oh I'm hoping he's just cutting through the garage to find a shortcut he went that way oh he's going there oh there we go he's going across the yard perfect good all right all right well he went back that way I was I was a little worried he's cutting through the garage for a shortcut <laughs> he ran under the tractor and it had me nervous thinking he's going up under the tractor and finding a place to store his seeds but regardless he's not the only chipmunk you know that might be Simon I, I think I killed Theodore but don't tell don't tell the rest of them so give me a comment where should I be looking what should I do before I start this thing okay uh, I'm gonna plan on starting it probably tomorrow and I'm going to change out all of the uh, the hydrostatic fluid all of the oil I've got filter kits for everything I got an air filter I already checked the air filter I think I mentioned that um, that looked clean so I'm gonna be cleaning it needs a full service that's gonna happen tomorrow leave me comments what do I got to do to prep this thing before I do that all right you guys <laughs> up north having some fun schools out for the summer I'm loving it uh, all right give me a like help me promote this channel even though this is a pretty terrible video mosquitoes are starting to eat me so all right keep on tractoring God bless They might be green and yellow in John Deere colors, but that's okay, isn't it, Brielle? Yeah, we'll still we'll still get on. Did you know that Papa Tractor used to have a John Deere? Did you know that? It was an old 1020 John Deere, I think from 1968 or 1972, 1020. He totally restored it. Yeah, he didn't like it anymore. Well, <laughs> restoring means he made it. It, it used to look old and he made it look brand new. <laughs> <laughs>